George might play a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Paul, I play everything else. <laughs> I'm John, I play the fool. <laughs> I'm Ringo, I'm the drummer. Let's get this party started. One, two, three, go! Yeah, I mean, American, Americans playing English music, and the English, they love American music. You see, you put two and two together, one and one together, you get American English. That's what it pretty much is. That's what That's it's all about. That's kind of why it gets it, 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 We've been together a while. I think it was a boy. I stopped yeah, counting. But yeah, yeah American music has been around for a while. <laughs> Take them through the whole chronological order, you know, the black suit period, the early period, when they first came to America and all that. Then we go into the psychedelic period, Sgt. Pepper, you know, Magical Mystery Tour, all that stuff. And then we move through the years to Abbey Road, near the conclusion, some of the rooftop stuff, and all the clothing that goes with it, and all the correct guitars and drumming. And yeah, it's quite like a history lesson. Yeah. You know, you have to be an actor. You know, you have to be an actor. You know, but you have to not be an, an actor, an actor. An actor. An actor. I said it first, but I, I try. <laughs> so you have to be an actor, but you have to be a musician as well. So you got it's combining the two together to make what we actually are on stage. <laughs> People who have been connected with any of the yeah. Beatles approach Spencer us Davis and they want to do Spencer shows Davis. together and they want to build a show because they think that we sounded most like the Beatles for our integrity, then that's a compliment. But yeah. it does it does add pressure because now you got to deliver. So yeah. You're like, all right, now they're really watching. Now you're, you're with their mates, you know. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, great. Yeah. Sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Playing at DeKalb is cool because it's basically a younger college crowd. Yeah, that's always good. And Otto's is kind of like the, the format for them to come out and let their hair down. And I think we even feed off of that because we even change our sets around to maybe, you know, a different dynamic to hit the younger audience with some of the more obscure music that they might enjoy instead of the fluffy stuff, you know. So it's for us, we fluffy. all kind of get pumped. Like, we're going to Otto's, you know, let's, you know, let's have a ball with these guys. And I heard the Beatles for the first time. This is the, I like this. You know, this is great. Whatever it is, it's great. Oh, this is the people. Yeah, they caught your attention with their few hits, and then once the albums came out, you started. Yeah, once you started you getting into albums, you were you know, dumb. My that brother's buying an album, and I go, oh, an album? Oh, cool, let's listen to it. It's like, who could write that many songs great on an album, and not one sound like the other one? Mm -hmm. How, who could do that? Uh, it's just them. That yeah, was over for me. Yeah. 